Welcome to this video, a full guide on how to set up SharePoint pages step by step. I'm Paul Keizers and I help businesses with Microsoft Teams, SharePoint and Copilot for a living. That's why you can be sure that after watching this video, you will know everything you need to know about um, SharePoint pages. So let's jump into it. I already opened this uh, page here, uh, the um, uh, SharePoint page. And in this case, we are looking at a communication page. So let's just do a little introduction on how um, page, SharePoint pages are, because we have uh, two different sites and we have the communication side, and that's the one you are looking at here where you most of the time you will find the menu bar at the top. And that's completely different if we take a look at a team site and a team site comes along when you start a new team, for example, or open a group. And that's basically on file sharing. And the communication site is more on uh, bringing news to the organization. Um, what you see is also that there's a little difference. We have on the left side, we have um, the navigation and that's here on the top side. So basically um, they could look almost the same, but um, by default, a team site looks like this and is mainly focused on documents. Now I understand, for example, when I would create a team site and I called it here uh, 260324, but let's uh, call it the surfing department, uh, then you want to change this look and feel because this is not how my department looks. My department looks a lot more uh, customized and uh, a bit nicer with out-of-the-box components that's really important so if we look at the page we can click on edit if you have the correct permissions so that's important you have to have the uh, correct permissions then I can click on edit and uh, what you see here is that you will have the um, uh, the edit menu uh, at the top we can save it as a draft discard we can see the page details so we could change uh, for example the thumbnail of the site which you saw left on the top so if I change it uh, site I go I'm using stock images for now uh, let's just insert something and that's fine for now uh, and uh, we can add some description, uh, check grammar. Uh, these are the basic page um, uh, permissions. So if we look at analytics or if we want to publish, we see that this site is uh, visited uh, one time and it isn't much, but if you have a, a busy site, you can see that it uh, will be visited way more and you can select 7, 30 or 19 days. Now, if we are ready, we can say, okay, republish re this site. And I will do that. And uh, you see that here the home is changed, uh, the site page, it has an icon now. Um, it's a bit better, but um, going back to the edit we will have also have a sections and uh, let's start over because or at least on the on the lower part uh, when we hover over something we directly see that these are web parts we call them web parts or uh, some people call them widgets because you can add them to your site uh, to make your site look beautiful and maybe you don't want for example this news you can just delete it uh, or you can add a web part so here we can say okay we want a hero web part here and then uh, we can start making our uh, website so here we can select I will uh, select uh, 
surf. So here I click, I will insert it and we directly have an image here. So this is uh, one of the things we can do directly here. Uh, we can uh, set the focal point of the image. So I'm going a bit too, mu too much in detail for this web part, but basically you can uh, select a link. Uh, you can set the background image. So I could change the link and make the link go to, uh, for example, uh, HTTPS works AU. And if people would click on this, then it uh, would uh, directly open the um, the URL. You see my uh, image is uh, changed, so I will do that one more time. Here we go. Insert. And so I can select multiple tiles. In this case, it's set to uh, five tiles, but I can select one tile uh, so you get the picture. It, it is really nice. So that's only one thing uh, we can do. And that's just one web part. Uh, but for example, if we look a bit further, we see on the left hand side, uh, the section. And in this case, this is one section, but we could add a different section. Here we have the possibility to select which columns we want to use. So we can uh, use, for example, um, this one. And uh, now we got a vertical section here. And on the right, you will have the possibility to select your background. Now this is fairly new. Um, so it could be different uh, or it, it was different on your end, but it just changed uh, a little bit. We can select the opacity so we can make it uh, more light. Uh, we can select the overlay colors and uh, we can say, okay, move to the top. So this is fairly new. It's all about the sections. Um, I will delete this one and I will make a new section, but then just a two column, I will do the same, but then we have two columns. And what you see here is you directly, uh, I can even make this uh, section collapsible. But what you see is that we directly have uh, the possibility to add two web parts. Now, you could imagine that I say, okay, I want this document library here and I can just drag and drop it here. So it makes it very easy to edit a web part and um, to move it. Uh, so what you could do is for example, uh, change this document library and I could say, okay, now it's documents, but I could also do a style library I'm going to select documents and you can uh, type a folder, for example, let's call the folder general and um, let's see if that helps. Maybe I have to do it like this. Um, the part, yeah, like this, it should fit. And uh, we can say, okay, how many items do we want to show? Uh, small, about five items. Uh, if there is a command bar or not. Um, so I don't want to see the command bar if I'm editing, uh, if I'm looking at it. I want to see a button see all, and I want to use dynamic filtering. Uh, we can select and use different web parts. I will republish it just to show you how it looks. So now we have uh, changed it and we have here our see all. Uh, we still see a bar here, but uh, it's limited. And we have the different background. Now you saw that on the left hand side, I did not add any, um, any web part, so it's empty. But if you would, uh, for example, let's do this one more time. I would move this one back up and then republish it. Then you won't see the section. So the section would be hidden because there's nothing to show there. 
I'm gonna do it again. Let's see. Let's move it here. So that is uh, sections uh, where you can have multiple sections uh, selected. Um, then if we look at, um, and I don't know why that is, but let's see. Uh, we have the quick links web part. This is all default. Now it's a list view. But if I edit, I can select, I want a compact view. Uh, I want tiles. This is one that's used a lot. So for example, you want tiles and you want to edit it, this tile. I can select uh, um, custom image. Let's change it. Stock image. And let's say a wave, um, for example and uh, let's see open link in new tab so i can select the new tab and i don't want text in there now the image is quite small uh, let's see yeah the image is quite small i think that's uh, because uh, uh, i made it a small image uh, let's see if i click here one more we can also select from a library and where we can change it uh, oh i was a bit too quick change and now we can select a font item uh, for example we can select this and then you will have a different uh, view on it. So this is a, a, a view. I could do buttons, for example, then you can get it like this, um, a grid. Now it's way more better. So you have different styles and you can make your website looking way uh, nicer than, uh, than, than this. Um, now, most of the sites will also have a section with uh, text or at least in a section in this case all uh, almost all web parts are in one section so what i can do is i can click on this plus and here i can say text for example and uh, i can just add a web part and here i can say okay uh, this page is about surfing the waves in Microsoft. So uh, that's one of the things I can do. Uh, I can align it. I can make bigger text, a smaller text. So that's quite nice to have. Now, uh, other things we like to do is, for example, uh, we can select a YouTube and then we can select add a video and we need um, a url so i will uh, search for a url and by the way if you uh, like this video uh, please like like it and subscribe to my channel uh, most people just watch it and they forgot uh, to subscribe and it makes me pushing out more videos so it would be really nice if you can subscribe to my channel and i will paste in the video i can even select the starting time um, i can uh, select the player uh, buttons uh, and i even can say the privacy enhanced uh, so uh, that my data is not going out so this is uh, a way to set up the surfing video um, so that's what i wanted to show you on embedding you can do multiple things with embedding so uh, be sure to watch that as well um, now basically we've done a lot on this page and uh, let's republish it and this is the home site so it's maybe not exactly the same as a new page because we can also make some sub pages so i can click here i can uh, let's uh, say uh, page and then we have the possibility to select uh, pages that are available for me or 
that are already in my library. So that's also a possibility. Because what we can do, for example, I select this, uh, this uh, page and I'm going to create it. You see that it holds a title uh, because this is a normal SharePoint page and uh, serve uh, Portugal and I can select an image here. So here we go to browse images and it's really important uh, to directly name your uh, SharePoint page else you cannot uh, save it. Serve Portugal, maybe I get some images. No, no image. Let's see if I can have a different one because I'm looking for a nice one that, uh, well, let's do this one. I think this one is nice. So I changed the header and as you can see, we have it now on overlapping. I can set the vocal point so I can move it a bit around so it's much nicer or less nice just depending on what you like uh, and here i can select how it looks so i have an image and a title for example so now it's overlay um, oh. i can say plain so no image now i hope it's still there my image i can set a color block or i can do the overlap i will do the image and the title what you see here is your name. This is the name that it shows directly when uh, you publish this page. But sometimes you do not, do not want this, then you can remove it and it will not show. Now, uh, as this is just a basic page, uh, we can start over and uh, create our sections directly from here. Um, we can do the two thirds. And uh, let's uh, put uh, some uh, colorful uh, items here. We can select the opacity. So we can even do some more things here. Um, and uh, we can also add, uh, for example, uh, weather, which is a basic web part, which is already there. We can select if it's Celsius or uh, Fahrenheit, and I can say Lisbon or Lisbon. And so I can add some more. I can even add the title. Once I'm finished, I can say publish the page and it's going to be published. So this is one way um, what you can do, but I can also edit it and I'm gonna try if I still can do it like this. Uh, because I like this page, I want to save it as a draft. So um, now it's saved as a draft and I can say save page as template. Uh, and I see I still have to add a title um serve template save page as template and now it's saved as a template so what this means if i go back home and i select a new i can select page and now we have the basic ones but i can also uh, go to saved on this uh, site and then I can set uh, select this one, but I can also make it the default selection. So here I set it to default selection. I'm gonna cancel this one for one moment and I'm gonna do it again. And now you see that it directly uh, shares my page, uh, which users can use. So that's making it more easy to use it. And I can create a page and it already holds everything I made in there. So the web parts, everything. So this is it for me. Um, I hope it was uh, worth it for you. Um, if you like it, you can also view this other video about me, uh, about Microsoft. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.